Okay, in this video, we're going to talk with Samantha Buckley, our social media specialist, about uh, even more sophisticated and targeted ways of advertising on Facebook. Hi, Sam. Hey, Greg. We're going to talk today about um, importing a list of your contacts um, from your software program into Facebook so that you can create a more targeted audience, yeah? That's right, Greg. So um, basically what we want to talk about today is about importing a list um, and how you can use that to target better target people in Facebook to reach your ideal clients. Okay, so that's called creating a look-alike list. Can you explain what a look-alike list does? Sure. So what a look-alike list or audience is, is how it works basically is you upload a list of your own into Facebook and we'll go through that. And once that is done, Facebook hunts around its whole database with all its information and will find people that have the same characteristics as those people in your list. So they could be, you could be looking for females of a certain age range that have similar likes, live in similar areas. Um, the possibilities are endless, but Facebook will find everything that's similar and pull those people into a list for you. So you can turn your list of a few hundred or a few thousand clients and prospective clients that you've already got into, into your database into a much, much bigger list of people like them. That's right. And the only thing to note there too is that the bigger the list you've got to start off with, the more accurate that list will become the lookalike audience list because it has more data to match. Great. All right. Take us through it. Um, share your screen and, and show us how to do it. Thank you. Thank you. So what you can see here, it's called a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet. So this is an example of what you need to get out of your salon software to pop into Facebook. So the first step would be to download that information out of your software. So whether you've got shortcuts or hairware or timely or mind body, whatever they are, you'll need to find out how to export those lists from the software providers so you can do that by popping onto their website and putting in a support ticket or having a search there through their information um, I have actually gone through and found some links for some of the more common software platforms and in the group I'll pop those lists the URLs for those in underneath the video once it's been posted so this is a CSV file and that's what you'll get out of your software so what we want is their first and last name, their email and their phone number. That will be the, the basic information that Facebook will use to find those people in Facebook to create the list for you. Sam, so, can you, can you um, while that's on the screen, can you uh, make that bigger and just expand those columns so people can see what's in them? Sure. This is how CSV files come up. They're all squished like that. So don't be worried or concerned if you can't see everything properly. Um, now, I'll just see if I can make the view a bit bigger for you guys. Okay, so I'll just extend these out so you can see what's in the cells. So the first, the first line will have the headings in it. And then the first one here, we've got emails, and then phone numbers, and then first names, and then last names. Now you don't need to be too concerned if the titles aren't exactly correct because you can, when you go to upload this, you can match them. You can tell Facebook with this column, I want this to match the first names, but I'll show you that shortly. Okay, so, let's go on and let's go on to uh, getting that into Facebook then. All righty, so I'm just going to close that. Now, if you're in your ads manager in Facebook, to get to where you want to upload that, you need to go to audiences. So you go up here to the three little lines and you click down here. It could be in frequently used, or you might have to go to all tools and then go up here to audiences. Now we're going to create this, use that sample data that I showed you and just create a list in here. So we go to this blue drop down, create audience and go choose custom audience. 
And what we're doing is using a customer file here to match your customers with people on Facebook. Now, one thing I will mention here as well is that say you upload 500 people, you might get 486 in the list because Facebook may not be able to find everybody based on that information, but they find most generally. So from the customer file, we'll use this here, add customers from your own file or copy and paste the data. So we want to upload our own file. So that's the one we choose. And from here, you can see that there's 15 different identifiers here that you can use, but we're just going to show you the basics. So in this next part, in this box with the dotted outline in it, we're going to click upload file. And we need to find where we saved that. And click on it and hit open. So that will pop up in there. And you give your audience a name. So for this one, I'm just going to put test audience, but you might put um, customer, customers and the date of it. So say you might put customers 30th of January 2018. And then we click on next. Now this is where I was talking about before, about matching up the data. So it tries to match them for you. So it says, yes, this email, these emails here are put under email address and phone number, and here, see, it's got do not upload because it can't figure out where to put it. So we'll just select that drop down and we'll find where we want to put it. So this is first name, so we'll choose first name. And the last one is last name, so Facebook calls that surname, so we'll just choose that as well. So they've all got green ticks now, so Facebook will be able to go hunting in those particular fields. So then we'll just click upload and create. And we are basically done. Okay, so you've got your custom audience. How long does it take? Let's say you've got a thousand names in your custom audience. How long does it take Facebook to go and um, hunt down people like the people in your list? Yep, so that's definitely dependent on how many you've got and how much data you've uploaded. So we've uploaded four columns. It could take half an hour. It could take, you know, if you've got a big list, it could take a couple of hours. So it generally doesn't take too long. And how do you know when they've done it? When Facebook's done the job, do they let you know? Okay, I'll show you. I'll just get that right out of here. So we're going to click done on this and close that out. And now I'll show you here. In the top row here, you'll see test audience. It's a customer list that we've uploaded. And right now in availability, it says it's updating the audience and the size is not available. So that's how you know that it's working on it. And once that's finished, it will say ready in the availability column like this one does here. Can you, can you uh, maximise that screen, zoom in on that screen? And so that screen there shows underneath test audience, it shows lookalike audience. That's the worldwide salon marketing lookalike audience, yeah? Yeah, that's right. So that, that uh, list that we uploaded um, had maybe 10,000 names in it. But Facebook has created a potential audience based on those 10,000 names of another 150,000 people approximately. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So once that is updated then and it says ready there, then you can create your lookalike audience for, for your business. So what we'll do next is I'll use one of our lists on here to show you how to do that since this one's not ready yet. We'll use this list here and I'll show you how to create your lookalike, lookalike audience and the important things to remember when you're doing it. Okay. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is once again, we're going to create audience. Except this time we're going to choose lookalike audience. So the first thing Facebook wants to know is which audience are we basing this new audience on? So this will be a drop down and I'll just find SM, not master list one, master list, there it is. So we choose the audience and now sometimes you can put in location if you want to. Um, as a salon, you're generally a local based salon, so you probably don't need to worry about putting in a location because all of your customers would be based around that location anyway. Now, the other thing that's really important to remember is this here. Now what this does, it's a slider and it tells you here the audience size ranges from 1% to 10% of the total population in the countries you choose with 1% being those who most 
closely match your source. That's the important bit. You want people who most closely match your source. So you always want to only set that at 1%. So that will give you people who are very targeted and match the people that you've uploaded. Okay, so where do we go from here? Okay. Now I don't generally worry about advanced options, so you can just leave that part alone. Um, and maybe it doesn't happen. I'm not letting me. Um, I'm just going to put Australia in here. Because I think it might not. There we go. You do actually have to put a location in for the button to become active. So wherever your audience is, just pop that in there. You can choose that from there. But it doesn't show the ad to the whole of Australia, does it? No, it's people who are like your audience that are in that location. So it won't be everybody. So then you just click create audience. And it doesn't like it this time because we've created an audience. Um, we've already created this look like audience, so it just doesn't like it. So for you guys who are just doing this, you won't get this error. It will just create the audience for you. Okay. And what will happen, I'll just get out of that. And what will happen is you will have a, just like this one here, it says look alike. AU is short for Australia, 1%, and then it has a dash and the list that you've based it on, and it will do the same thing. It will give you an updating audience, and the size will be not available until it's finished populating that. So that's how you create your lookalike audience. Okay, so once you've got your lookalike audience, then you've got to go and um, create the ad and use the lookalike audience as your target market, yeah? Yeah. That's right, and so we'll do another video on that in number three. All right, well, uh, you can stop sharing that screen, Sam. Thank you very much. Um, no worries. All right, so next video is how to use a lookalike audience to create an ad and point the ad at those people, yeah? That's right, yep. It'll be a good one. All right, thanks very much, Sam. No worries, thank you.